y'all may think is a bit ridiculous, but trust me on this one. I'm not trying to freak you out, but I'm just gonna say one word. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome back to the Apop channel. My name is Anna and today's video will be about the pros and cons of au pairing in Spain. I au paired in Madrid about two years ago and before I went I actually found this channel and I watched literally every single video because I was so stressed. I'd never been to Europe before. I didn't even know what au pairing was until one of my best friends told me. This channel has all you need for the tips and tricks on how to be an au pair, deal with host families, live in a new place. So make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm actually originally from the States. I moved from Seattle, Washington. That's where I was living for the last seven years before I moved over to Spain. And now I currently live in London. I'm a student here. Um, doing my undergrad as you can tell by the obnoxious London sign behind me. I do have my own channel So if you want to check it out, I will link that down below I'm going to be putting up some videos on there about what my experience will be like as a student in the UK Overall, I'm happy that I chose to au pair in Spain. The reason why I chose Spain over any other place really was because I did learn a bit of Spanish in high school even though my level was not great. Now I'm not gonna lie, I literally love Spain. Like the only reason why I chose to live somewhere else is probably because my Spanish level was never really that great. Some of the things that I'm going to share with you today, it's just my own personal experience, of course. But overall, there are things that will be similar just throughout the whole entire country. So the first pro to living in Spain, especially a big city like Madrid or Barcelona, is it is so easy to get around. They have the metro, they have the bus, and then also if you want to travel longer distances, they have an app called Blah Blah Car. It's almost like an Uber, but for long distances. It's someone who is taking their car to a different city and they have people pay to ride with them, but it's super cheap. In my opinion, it's super safe. I've taken it multiple times and long distances and never had an issue. So that's one um, way that was like really awesome to get around Spain and like see different cities. The transportation links are just awesome. Another pro of living in Spain was the au pair events and auxiliares, which is like a language assistant. Because there are lots of uh, Facebook groups and events for au pairs, it's super easy to meet people and super easy to make friends. And also if you become a member of the APOP community, you can find people through that as well. I did go on a trip with Smart Insiders. They're a group that organizes trips for au pairs and language assistants in Spain. One of the trips that we took was to Morocco. I actually made a video about it if you want to check it out on my channel. But it was super awesome because the whole trip was full of like au pairs and language assistants and yeah, it was just, it was super fun. The third pro to living in Spain is that it was very cheap to live. Now as an au pair, obviously you're not paying rent, you're not paying for food, and if you think about it, like 90 euros does not seem like a lot, but it does go a long way in Spain especially because everything is so cheap, like in the best way possible. I would get a bottle of wine for like three euros. <laughs> it was awesome. And the nice thing too is if you've ever been to Spain, when you go out and you get a drink, you'll always get like some sort of tapa. It might not be like the most elaborate tapa but it'll be like you'll get chips or olives or which oh my god i love olives not only is it cheap but like the food is so good so if you're balling on a budget as you are as an au pair then your money will actually go pretty far some families will even pay for your metro card and your phone so if you can get that that's awesome even in a city like madrid or barcelona where it is pretty pricey you can actually do things with the little pocket money that you get another reason why it was great to be an au pair in spain is because obviously you get to learn spanish i learned a bit of spanish in high school so i felt like i already had a bit of a background in that but even without a background in spanish i think a lot of the times you'll find that as long as you try to speak the language, people will try to help you. So yeah, I was surprised to find that my Spanish level would be okay starting out. 
um i was really nervous about that so it ended up being fine and i did obviously pick up on so much spanish while i was living there my host kids did have a good level of english so i didn't have to teach them english we just practiced speaking another great thing about au pairing in spain is that there are so many cultural events that you can go to and really get a feel for what the Spanish culture is like. One of the ones that my friend and I got to go to because she lived in Sevilla, but you don't have to live there to go, um, was Semana Santa. And it's the week leading up to Easter. I can't even like explain it to you. I had never seen anything like that in my life. And then we also went to Los Reyes Magos. It's around Christmas time and they have this parade. There's also this festival in May. It was called San Isidro Festival. It seemed like a fair. There was like fair type food. There was a huge stage with people playing music. There was fireworks. They always had things like that happening. I felt like those things were so important for me to go to because, or just to like experience and see, because it really made me feel like I was living in Spain. Another thing is they have so many holidays in Spain, at least compared to the States. It was great because it gave me more time to travel when traveling, you know, was a thing pre-COVID. <laughs> now onto the cons of au pairing in Spain. I'm not gonna lie, I had a pretty hard time figuring out what I didn't like about Spain because there were so many things I loved. So one of the big ones that I don't want to scare anybody off with this, Obviously this is my own experience and like what some of my friends have said as well. But one of the big ones that I experienced literally two weeks before I was going back to the States actually was pickpocketing. My friend who lived in Sevilla didn't, she doesn't know anyone that that's happened to. It hasn't happened to her. Living in Madrid, it happened to almost everybody I knew, including myself. Um, I got my phone and my wallet stolen. My friends have all <laughs> pretty much all gotten their phone stolen, if not once, but twice. It's not like a scary thing where they like mug you. I mean, maybe like some people have experienced that. None of my friends really did. It was more just like a secret, like, oop, just took your phone, just took your wallet. And then you check your pocket and you're like, oh crap, <laughs> like my stuff is gone. You just have to be really, really extra careful and cautious like always put your bag in front of you on the metro it's just like basic common knowledge but it just does tend to happen a little bit more in places like madrid and barcelona another con to au pairing in spain your family might not know as much english as you had thought and the reason why that might be a con is just because it might seem a little uncomfortable at first. It might be hard to communicate with the kids or have them listen to you because of that. You just have to have patience and know that eventually they will open up and they will start to feel comfortable. Just like you might not be comfortable speaking Spanish at first, it's the same for them. Another con to living in a big city like Madrid for me was that we lived in like smaller housing. So we lived in like a flat and obviously it's just because we're in a big city. Um, my friend who au paired in a different city lived in a bigger house so it just really depends, but if you're gonna au pair in a city like Madrid, you're going to experience smaller housing. I didn't really mind that though. It didn't really bother me. I will say my room was tiny, um, and it sounds like bad to complain about, but now that I've like au paired other places and had a bigger room, I'm like, wow, how did I live in that for eight months? <laughs> like, what the heck? Another con to au pairing in Spain is that Things are closed midday for siesta time. So being an au pair, my schedule was a little bit weird, but I didn't have to get my kids until 5 p.m. And everything was closed from like three to five. Like cafes, restaurants, maybe not in the inner city of Madrid, but like my neighborhood outside of the city, it was only like 30 minutes by bus, but everything was closed. Also, they eat so late in Spain. They literally don't eat until like nine or 10 o'clock at night. So being an au pair, you might not get off until like 10, 1030 at night. So that can be kind of a con and a downside to a pairing in Spain. Only good thing about that though is people don't go out in Spain until like 
midnight. So, and actually sometimes midnight is early. It might be a bit difficult to adjust to the lifestyle. I don't know, it's really hard to say bad things about Spain when it's just such a great place anyways. The last con that I came up with for au pairing in Spain, I'm just gonna say one word, cockroaches. Oh my God. I swear to you, when I first got there, I had about six cockroaches in my room. I had my host mom come kill them because I was terrified. And I literally from that day, for the whole eight months of living there, I had cockroaches in my room every week. Like no joke, they found me. They were in my shower. They were like, I opened my medicine cabinet and one fell down. Like just thinking about it gives me the creeps. I feel like I'm the cockroach queen. Like I could kill a cockroach so easily now. That's how many I had to kill in Spain. It was a problem. And again, that was just me. The weird thing was, is I lived on like the fourth floor in our apartment complex building. So I, how they got up to my room, I really cannot tell you. Just beware that cockroaches are alive and well in Spain. The wine makes it worth it, I guess. Well, there you have it. Those were my pros and cons to au pairing in Spain. If you have au paired in Spain or are looking to au pair in Spain or just au pair in general, make sure to leave a comment down below and let us know what your experience was like. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to follow Apop on Instagram. I will also link my channel down below as well as my Instagram if you wanna follow me along on there. And we will see you in the next APOP video. Bye.